fixes bin packing problem using approximation algorithm now first understand what is approximation algorithm then we will introduce the bin packing problem which will we will, we will solve using the approximation algorithm approximation algorithm indicates that it always run within a polynomial time and another is always we will get the solution to nearest to the optimal solution now look at the board and try to understand the different kinds of algorithm already we have used like brute force heuristic and now we are in approximation algorithm second look at the board what is bin packing problem in bin packing problem we can say that there are so many bins of unit size and there are different elements of size greater equals to 0 and less equals to 1 we have to accommodate all the items by choosing the unit size bin now in the example we can see that it is treated as the setting of different size of frame in a panel of door another is loading of track for from the dock or any loading site and in initially we can uh, imagine that the bin is like dust bin where we can accommodate all the dust bin optimally now there are for, uh, five algorithm we will discuss by choosing numerical example all the algorithms given in the slide and another thing is you are very much familiar that I have used the Google Drive link in my description box where you can find the PDF notes also and you can download and you can print it out definitely. First look at the first fit algorithm and the algorithm is given in the board. Please see first is place the item in order in which they arrive and number two place the next item into the lowest numbered bin in which it fits and step 3 is if it does not fit into any open bin start a new bin now consider the different size here given as 4.4.8.5 4 and so on these are the size of the item and each bin size here consider as 1 bin size normally may be different size but here we choose the bin size is as 1 so we have to fit all the elements by considering by choosing the minimum number of unit size bins now come to the first fit algorithm here we can see that first the element is we can see that the first element is 0.4 so we choose the 0.4 size element now 0.8 it can't accommodate in the bin because the size of the bin is 1 now 0.5 then 0.5 can be accommodated that is 0.5 will be here and then 0.1 because the total bin size is 1 so we choose 0 0.5 0 0.4 and 0 0.1 in the first bin we can write it as b1 b for bin now we have to choose another bin because so many elements <coughs> till now left so next element is 0.8 so choose another bin of size 8 that means 0.8 and already 5 is chosen and 1 is chosen so go to the 7 can't accommodate 0.6 can't accommodate but 0.1 can be accommodated here so we fit the 0.8 and 0.1 in 
into the bin 2. Now, if we choose 4 and 2 and 2, no accommodation, no vacant space is there. So, this portion of the bin is left vacant. Now, start from 7 because these sizes are already accommodated. Now, 0.7 is here. Now, bin is still vacant. So, we have to choose. If we choose 0.6, no mismatch. 0.1 is always chosen. So, go to 0.4. No, no accommodation is allowed. So, choose 0.2. That means, still now the bin is vacant. But, because we can't allow 0.2 here. So, this is our bin 3. Now, choose 0.6 because 0.6 is not allocated. So, 0.6 is here. Now, which will be the next element? The next element should be 0.4 because 0.4 is not allocated. Now, if we choose 0.2, remaining 0.2 can't accommodate it. So, this bin is totally full. This bin, no, no vacant space is there. Now, we can choose 0.2. That means, this is our 0.2. So, we need number of bin is m equals to bin 3, bin 4 and bin 5. That means the number of bin is 5. If we consider the algorithm, we can see that the complexity is order of n square. But because it <coughs> needs two for loops. But if we use, mind it, if we use the balanced search tree, then the height is log n and it may be order of n log n and look at the board what is and how the balance tree is treated. Next go to the algorithm number 2. The next fit algorithm is similar as first fit if we consider the first step. First step is same but the second step place the next item into the current bin if it fits. In the step 3 if it does not, close that bin and start a new bin. So, if we draw the diagram, then first is 0.4. Second, close the, that means if we consider 0.8, so 0.8 cannot accommodate it. So, close the bin, that means we can't accommodate any element, still the bin is empty, element. So, B1 is only contain 0.4. Now, which one is second position? Second position is 0.8 and the next element is 0.5. So, we can't accommodate it. That means the bin is closed. Now, another is, which one is next? Next is 0.5. So, 0.5 is here and we can accommodate 0.1 also. So, but 0.7 we can't accommodate. So, the bin is closed. Now, we need another bin which is 0.7. That means 0.7. And the next is 0.6. We can't accommodate. So, the bin is closed. Now, we have to accommodate 0.6. And the next is 0.1. We can accommodate it. But the next element is 0.4. We can't accommodate. So, the bin is closed. Now, the 0.4. If we accommodate 0.4 here, we can accommodate 0.2 because the bin is empty and again we can accommodate 0.2 also. So, all the elements are accommodated by using number of bin is m equals to 6. So, if we consider the complexity, you can look the, in the algorithm portion, we need only one for loop. So, the complexity is n. But if we apply any sorting using counting sort, then the complexity will be order of n plus k, order of n plus k, normally order of n. Now, we are coming to the third algorithm. Now, look at the best fit algorithm. Best fit algorithm, the step 1 is same. Step 2, place the next item into that bin which will leave the least room left over after the item is placed in the bin. Step 3, if it does not fit in any bin, start a new bin. If we put according to the algorithm, we can see that 
the first brain look like this second third fourth and fifth and the interesting thing is that the diagram is similar as the algorithm as one that means first fit and waist fit nothing gives different any different results so waist fit and first fit nearly are same so we can say that the complexity of waist fit also is as per the first fit that means it requires how many loops two loops so it requires order of n square also now we have another important and optimal one is best fit bust decreasing order if we short the each element decreasingly first then if we apply the best fit algorithm then we will get better solution that is the optimal solution now we are going to best fit decreasing algorithm now coming to best fit decreasing bfd in short form first what we have to do short the elements according their size so this is our shorted size so this is our shorted size now straight forward apply the best fit algorithm what will happen first we have to accommodate point 8 next we have to search which element is best fitted for that bin so 0.7 no 0.6 no first we found that point 2 is best fitted so the bin is full so first point 8 then point 2 next we have to fill the second element that means point 7 After point seven, point six, point five, point four, four, all are ignored. That's why seven, four, eleven, seven, four, twelve, and seven, six, thirteen. So choose point two because point two is here. Now another place is vacant. So choose point one. That means the bin is full. Seven, two, nine, and one, ten. Now choose the element point six. So We choose point six here. Now point five. No, point five is more. That's why we choose point four. That means, and up to this, eight is chosen. Point two is chosen. For seven is chosen. Point two is again uh, uh, chosen. Point one is chosen. Now point six and point four. Now come to point five. So after point five, we can accommodate. Four because point five is chosen now point four and lastly we can also accommodate point one that means number of bin is four that means whenever we apply this algorithm we get some better result that is this is known as the optimal solution and if we apply this first fit we can also apply first fit decreasing then we will also get. another this type of optimal solution so better solution is ffd and another is bfd now what will be the complexity of bfd the complexity of bfd is normally order of n square but uh, using balanced binary tree it is also l log n and another important things we have to remember that if we apply the first fit algorithm then the upper bound of the complexity is not more than upper bound is not more than not more than 1.7 times of optimal not more than that means how many figures are there how many figures 1 2 3 4 so this is our optimal so not more than 1.7 times multiply it you will get that 1 2 3 4 5 is less than 1.7 times and another thing is algorithm 2 if we consider algorithm 2 means next fit upper bound is two times two times of optimal and best fit is same as first fit that means again we can say upper bound is 1.7 times so this is the our 
conclusion about bin packing and we have to solve all the algorithm now come to the if you find any problem you will read my video lecture now come to the exercise part do the exercise at home eight elements one two three four five six seven eight eight elements for different size are given and the curve 0.7.5.2.4.2.5.1 and 0.6 please do the exercise in your home by applying the minimum four algorithm that means first fit next fit best fit and best fit decreasing and you can also do the same job using first fit decreasing so that's all if you find any problem you can write in in the description box and you can write in comment also thank you good day all